Hey, Canucks fans, I think you'd agree with me that this version of the team right now is one of the most fun versions of the Canucks that we've ever seen. I'm Clay Emo. I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the JLCBC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. And this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Tuesday, October the 29th. Still glowing in the aftermath of last night's 7-2 victory over the Florida Panthers. The Canucks did not squander that four-goal lead, the most dangerous lead in hockey. And they kept their foot on the gas, so to speak. And they walked away, skated away with a very comfortable victory. Last night, I talked about what I liked. I loved the offensive explosion, obviously. Three assists each for Pedersen and Edler. All the Canucks forwards, all 12 of them had at least one point. A very good showing by the entire team. And, um, you know, I was really happy with Tim Schaller's play. thought Thatcher Demko played well. Up and down the line, the Canucks were very solid. And it's not like the Florida Panthers are... are you know, our cellar dwellers, they were, they came in in third place in Atlantic division. So now the Canucks are seven, three and one. That's good for 15 points in 11 games and on pace for over hundred points on place for a pay- playoff spot. But yes, the sample size is still small, but it's still cool that the Canucks are going firing on all cylinders. And what I noticed actually what my son noticed. So my son, Sean went for the first time this season and he was texting me throughout the game. He did a couple funny tweets actually, but then we had a good chat when he got home last night. I, um, and he talked about how much fun it was to be in the arena. And of course, the Canucks winning was a big part of that. And the team, he said, he, he's never seen them look so fast. And, and their transition game and their forecheck and all those things. And yes, they were playing against a Florida team that was coming off a of back-to-back with was, was some travel time, a small travel from Alberta. But still, the Canucks looked good. They looked fast. They looked dangerous. They looked sharp. And then... Um, I thought about my experiences. You know, I've been to two of the first home, five home games. I wasn't at the home opener, that 8-2 win, demolishing of the Kings. Then I was there for the, I think it was the 4-3 win or 3-2, 4-3. It was a one-goal win over the Philadelphia Flyers on the Saturday night. That was a lot of fun. And I didn't go for the Detroit 5-1 victory where they, uh, you know, um, a lot of uh, scraps and a lot of um, kind of, a, uh, what do you call it, scrimmages. Not scrimmages, scrums. That's what I was trying to say. They didn't scrimmage. A bunch of scrums after the whistle. Didn't go to that game, but that looked like a lot of fun. Then I was there for that Washington game, the 6-5 shootout loss. And although we lost, that game was very, very entertaining. And then you had last night's, so like I said, my son Sean went, and he said it was great. Um, and I, well, that's my point for today is, is and I'm going to ask you, what makes the Canucks so fun this year? And I have a few theories, you know. Um, They've scored a lot of goals. They've scored 17 goals in the last three games. I believe it's 22 goals over the course of five home games. So that's obviously a, a, a pace of over four goals a game. And of course, when you score, you have a better chance to win and you get to celebrate and sing and dance and clap and cheer. So scoring obviously makes the games fun. Uh, what else is fun? Well, obviously, seeing Pedersen continue to develop, seeing Brock Besser, seeing Bo Horvat uh, uh, take on the responsibility of being captain, seeing the way that JT Miller has started off the season with 13 points in 11 games, and especially seeing Quinn Hughes and Tyler Myers uh, do their thing, especially Quinn Hughes, but Tyler Myers is a good skater too. It's a fun team to watch. Mark Schroen and Demko, very solid. And I even think of that 2010-2011 Stanley Cup finalist team. And I would dare say that this team is more fun, more entertaining to watch. That team, sure, had the Sedins, and we were, we were marveling at their play every time, especially when they're at the top of the game. You had Ryan Kessler and Alex Burroughs, who were, who Kessler more than Burroughs, could be exciting players, were, were quite exciting when they got on the ice. But then after that, it dropped off a little bit. You know, you guys had Samuelson and Raymond and Maholtra, Yannick Hansen up front, but they, I wouldn't say they were the most fun players to watch. They weren't the most exciting guys. And then on D, you had Erhoff. And, and then Edler, who was just uh, coming to his prime, or at least uh, starting to develop into his prime, but then uh, not a lot of ex- uh, fun, ex- uh, exciting guys there. So I, I'd say, maybe a better way to say it is they I'd say the players now are more exciting, and that makes the atmosphere and the, the on-ice product more fun. It was certainly fun to watch that 2010-2011 uh, team demolish a lot of teams, um, but they weren't scoring as many goals, at least on average, as this team is right now. So let's go back to this year's product. So I think the on-ice, obviously, the team is playing well. They're scoring a lot of goals. They're skating well. They're transitioning well. They're forechecking. They're back-checking, all those things. So the team itself is fun. I would also say, even when you go in the arena, because of all these theme nights, because of the 50th season, it makes for a very fun atmosphere. And we haven't had a lot of trouble selling tickets this year. In fact, the only uh, game that we have before Christmas that we still haven't sold yet is the Toronto Maple Leafs game. So hit me up if you want if you want to know about that um, and, and ticket price and everything like that. So um, I think uh, for the fans itself, the ex- game experience is better. Um, not only with these theme nights, but I think the game presentation, I've, I've always been a big fan of the, the creative team 
because uh, the game presentation team because I've been able to, I've been blessed to work with them many times over the past few years but I think they're doing a really really good job and and they keep the fans engaged it's a good mix of, of fun stuff trivia whatever maybe a contest and I even said after I went to my first home game the Philly game earlier this season in October earlier this month that I, I think even some of their contests and some of their their attitude is a tiny bit more edgy never over the line never crossing the line never even approaching clo- uh, tiptoeing near the line but I just think the contest, like the lost fan and where they where they highlight people who are wearing the wrong jerseys or especially jersey of the opposing team, uh, whatever it may be, I think they're I think they're having a little more fun um, and with their with their contests and with their with their engagement with fans. And I think that's very important. Also, it's just brighter in there. I don't know if you notice that if you go to a game or even watching TV, the ice looks brighter. And uh, I don't think it's the color of the ice, but I think it's the lighting, obviously, that, that's a lot better. And then, uh, you know, the, the bright lights for TV or not, they, it just looks brighter in the arena. And, of course, they've installed new projectors and the game presentation, the opening videos, all that stuff makes for a really fun atmosphere. So, I, obviously, uh, when you go to the arena and when you want to have fun, it's two things. It's how's the team doing on the ice, and it's all the things that are off the ice. And right now, the Canucks are, are, are killing it in both, in both uh, respects, in both categories. So, Canucks fans, I want to know from you. Do you agree with me? I think you would, but do you agree with me that this team right now is fun to watch? If you've been in the arena already in one of the first five games, tell me, have you had fun in the arena? And the Canucks are basically 4-0-1, so I don't know how you couldn't have. So they, they're, they have nine of possible 10 points in their five home games, and that, that's outstanding. So I, I would say... Um, for many reasons, the on ice, the off ice, like I said. But is it Pedersen's play? Is it Brock Besser? Is it JT Miller? Is it Quinn Hughes that that makes it fun for you? Is it all the off ice stuff, game presentation, video contests, engagement, theme nights, whatever it may be? I want to know. I'm in a good mood. Obviously, the Canucks uh, coming off a huge victory. I was fine watching it at home as I, I was catching up on some work, and then I was I was I was glad that my son Sean was able to to um, go to the game. And now he thinks he should go to all the games. And I said, "Well, fine, pay for all the tickets," and then. Of course, that conversation stops right there. So, Canucks fans, let me know what you think. What's fun about this team? What makes it fun for you? And can the Canucks sustain it going forward? They now embark on a three-game road trip. Their 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 um, famous or usual annual trip through Southern California through LA. They have LA on Wednesday night, Anaheim Friday, and then San Jose on Saturday. Come back for a quick home game on Tuesday night against St. Louis Blues. Then again out for three games on the road, and then back home for four. So it's gonna be a busy schedule, and I can't wait to share with you. I'll, I'll drop hints as we go, but uh, yes, uh, you may have seen the picture of me. My co-collab partner, Marie Huey, and my brother, producer extraordinaire, Jason, working on something over the weekend. It's finalized. It sounds like the Canucks are going to run with it. And all I'm going to say is, um, I, I'm not going to be there, but if you're going to the next home game, you'll be in for a treat. Okay, how's that for a tease? We'll see what happens. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I love to read, react, and reply as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the day. God bless. Go Canucks, go.